What's up and welcome to episode one of this year's season of Crib Crashers. I don't know if it's season three, season four, but whatever it is, we are getting ready to go into some unsuspecting student's house and crash their crib. See what little nuggets of gold we can find to embarrass them, to shame them, to lead them to conviction of the Lord, whatever it might be that they need to do in their life at this point. So here in just a minute, I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna see whose house we're gonna be crashing. Let's turn around and see whose crib we're crashing today. All right, Elizabeth, you knew this day was gonna come. You've been hanging out with me too much. I gotta crash your crib and see what we can find new that we may not already know about Elizabeth. So let's go check it out. All right, Elizabeth, we are in your room. It is happening, we have made it here. And uh, I'm gonna get everybody a little sneak peek of what we can find. Now before we really start digging in and doing some serious investigating, I'm gonna just give a pan of the room so everybody can kind of see what they're working with here in your room. So let me just go ahead and give that pan real quick. Now, let's take a look a little bit deeper, start digging through some of these drawers, start investigating what you have laying around in your room. All right, the first thing that I see right here on these tables, I see some really kind of random stuff. We gotta figure out exactly what we got going on here. First thing I notice, which is kind of weird, is this hair dye. Now, we all thought you were a natural blonde, but apparently you use the uh, cream color, dark blonde number seven. That's the secret to your beautiful hair. Uh, so it's all out of a bottle, which we're finding that out real quickly. Got a little something something here now I don't know who sent that to you maybe we do know who sent it to you I don't know but where we got that there prominently displayed maybe we'll just check in a drawer uh, how about this drawer right here interesting that's an interesting place to keep popcorn in your looks like your pajama drawer uh, so that's, that's kind of weird uh, two two bags in case you run out of the first one you got the second one so that's an interesting thing to find. If you look a little closer, which I see now, next to your bed, you have two bags in your pajama drawer, but you have an entire box of popcorn sitting next to your bed. So let's just keep looking around. We'll keep scrolling on here. Let's just have a seat here on the bed. Oh, that's pretty pretty comfortable bed. I'm kind of like an have to kick back here. And, oh, yeah. Whoop. What is that? More corn under your pillow? You sleep with the corn? Elizabeth, this is beginning to get a little weird. So I'll just put that back under there where I found it, but we got a pretty good, pretty good soft bed here. Now we're on the other side of the room here. Let's see what else we can find. We have another thing of corn on your shelf. It's a strange thing to have uh, just as a decoration in your room. I'm, you really like corn, That's, which is kind of weird found us a what we got here it's a phone now your mom and dad were telling me that they had recently confiscated your phone because of just inappropriate use I'm not going to get into the details of what that was but they said for somehow you were still sending texts out and it looks like we found ourselves a burn phone so I don't know what you've been looking on this thing let's see we got some text messages here we got Let's just pick a quick, let's just make a quick tweet. Why don't we do that? We'll just put a little tweet out here. We'll just. And send. All right, check your Twitter. You got just, you just, we just went viral on that one. Now, this is a little strange to have in your bedroom. You're an adult, pretty much. And here you have a. Spider-Man costume. Now I know someone else who has a Spider-Man costume and uh, I can't imagine that you would have got matching Spider-Man costumes but I guess it is possible. Then we got, let's see, some gift cards. That's pretty sweet so I think I'll just take those and put those in my pocket. Take those home with me. Let's take a look here. We got Dr. Pepper, we got more Dr. Pepper and even more Dr. Pepper. So, again, I thought you weren't really supposed to be drinking Dr. Pepper, but yet here you have three cans of Dr. Pepper on your bedside table, along with one that's not even open. So, 
let's just solve that right now. Get that going. Get a little drink. Ah, pretty good. I'll leave that there. We made it. Oh, watch out, Barkley. Elizabeth, you've done pretty well. Barkley, what do you think? You did good? You came out pretty well unscathed. We found that you do have a corn obsession, which is a little awkward considering you are allergic to corn, and we all know what happens when you eat too much corn. Barkley, what do you think? You think she did all right? I think she did all right. So, all right, now this is the end of Crib Crasher season one, or episode one. So everybody else, if you're watching this, you should know that I'm coming for you. So from Barkley, from me, to Elizabeth, we'll see you next time. See you, Welcome to my house.